Good afternoon guys, this video is about how to play Fight Night Champion on PC with online. So think about any emulator, Xenia or RS PC3, you can pretty much play the game online with any of your friends. So the first program you're going to want to download is called Pass. Now Parsec's a free program, you can just, it basically just lets you, people connect their controller to your PC and it makes any game online. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you want to host the game, you don't have to host your game, if someone has a game here, you can just connect your controller and play. However, people will always be playing the game that you want to play so there will be cases where you want to host the game yourself so to do this the third the first thing you're going to check is your upload speed you can ignore this one but you're going to go to speedtest.net and you're going to test your upload speed now i've got 109 however if you've got less than 10 of this number I'd say that you may or may not be able to stream. It might depend on how many people are in your lobby, but most likely you're gonna have problems. So if your number's 109, then you're good to go. So once you've got your Parsec downloaded, you're going to go to Soda Arcade, uh, and you're going to go to Downloads, Build Guide, uh, you're going to follow this and you're going to follow every single step even if you've got Visual Studio or even if you've got C++ you know just follow that and then uh, once you've done that you can open up Smash Sort so first thing you're going to want to do when you boot up Smash Soda, is check your video and your audio settings. So you see, I've got this monitor selected, what I want to show. So when you're streaming, when you actually press the start host button, it's, this is going to be the monitor. It's going to show the entire monitor. So I've chosen my left monitor. And then here, I've got my speaker set up so that people can hear my game and I've made sure that this button is unmuted. You can also set your microphone here and uh, you can use your microphone to talk to people and they can use the text chat back to you so they can actually hear you through their headphones and they can talk back with their keyboard. So you're going to put a game name in, the game that you're going to play. Uh, if you write it exactly how the game is titled, then it will show the game cover like this. For example, you see how this guy's got FIFA 23 cover. It's because he's written his title like this. And it shows the game cover. This just helps people see what game you're playing a little easier. So, scroll down, set your slots, set your latency. Uh, set your theme, you can write a, uh, a description, it doesn't really matter. And then uh, once you've got all that set up, you can press connect one gamepad. You can connect, you know, as many as you want, really. And then, yeah, once you've got all these settings and you're happy with them, you can press start hosting. So I'll press start hosting just to show you what happens. So yep, stop hosting now it says. If we go back to the internet, it says Fight Night Champion here. And this is my lobby. Once you've got that done, and your uh, lobby's up, you can just uh, sit here, wait for someone to join your game, wait for your friend to join your game, and then uh, boot up your game of choice, let them connect and have fun and that's basically it. it's not that complicated guys uh, if you have any questions 
please let me know in the comments and I'll try and let you know. Uh, I will leave the Discord for Smash Soda. So if you want to speak with the developer of this program, if you've got any troubleshooting to do, if you've got a bug that you can't figure out how to fix, go to the Discord. The owner will definitely help you out. So yeah, please like and subscribe if this helped. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.